City of Johannesburg, in partnership with uh, Johannesburg Water, uh, has a number of um, service delivery initiatives that are currently in place. Um, in this current financial year, we are just happy to announce that we've completed, uh, or we've launched officially, um, the Orange Farm Reservoir, uh, which is now currently uh, in operation, meaning that now water provision in the, in the area of Orange Farm is sustainable, and uh, the Johannesburg water teams can be able to, you know, effect any other plant outages or maintenance in that area without people experiencing water uh, as such. Um, and now in April, um, and we are also launching the Deep Slit Reservoir, which will also come in handy for the area that is growing in terms of population uh, to make sure that uh, we are able to, to meet the demand. Um, as you know that um, you know, water is life and people are expected to Johannesburg Water to provide such service. Sewage management and sanitation is a, is a, is a, is a, is a challenge across the city. Um, um, we've got quite a number of areas whereby we find that um, there is a high usage of water. You know, your high-end suburbs uh, have become um, you know, problematic in terms of water usage. And then your informal or former areas that were called informal settlement earlier on, um, your Zang Spread, um, uh, some parts of Deep Slude, some parts of Alexander, some parts of Orange Farm as well. We experience quite a high number of abuse of the sewer system itself in Ivory Park and Midland as well, uh, whereby the you know people are not using sewer in the correct way, and we experience uh, we end up with a lot of blockages that are necessary and causing a lot of stress in the system itself. You know, things like, uh, you know, your, your, your baby nappies are being thrown into the water, into the sewer system, which eventually block the system because, you know, baby nappy absorbs water. And then once it's absorbed water, it grows. It becomes like this big ball that we, it, it cannot move in the sewer system and it causes unnecessary, uh, you know, uh, outages or sewer blockages which will then require our teams to come through and bring other big machines for it to be able to, 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 to remove those objects that are foreign in our, in our sewer systems. In terms of uh, provision of water and sanitation in the growing population of the, 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 the informal settlements, um, you know, statistics have shown that um, about 120,000 people are coming to the city of Johannesburg, or Houteng in particular, uh, annually, um, um, you know, to, 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 to look for whatever means of survival. Um, that also poses a risk or a challenge in, to Johannesburg Water and the city itself in terms of making sure that we, we are able to meet a new demand. Because in terms of planning, uh, we do make projections in terms of, uh, you know, um, looking at saying um, with the new number of people coming in, are we going to be able to provide but with the new projects that we are launching or that we are expected to complete between this current financial year uh, and the next financial year, which is 18, 19, and 19, and 20, um, we've got quite a number of reservoirs that are going to be built. Uh, we're looking at areas like Lenesia, that is a new reservoir that is going to be built, Eraton, we are looking at Woodmead area, we are looking at um, um, Halfway House as well. So those are part of the expansion program, but beyond those, we also have um, an initiative whereby we do pipe replacement projects, uh, mainly just to upgrade the infrastructure and make sure that we improve reticulation, we improve services and then people uh, experience less and less uh, water outages.